Let me ask you, are you a betting man? Uh, I don't know, sure. Well, if someone were taking bets on your father's bout with death, uh, I'd bet everything I own uh, on death. It's a good bet. The odds are he'll probably die. Oh. Could you have prepared him a little for that? Oh, well, I kind of thought I did with that uh, whole betting analogy. Yeah. Tell me, was your father a, a famous athlete or a rock star? No, uh, he was a boxer, but, but he wasn't famous. Sorry, no heart there. But for $600, I, I could sell you a fully adjustable hospital bed. Are you crazy? I don't need a bed. <laughs> Playing hardball, are you? Okay, 550. Wait. I can't believe this is happening. No, no, no. no. Wait, wait. Where are you going? I, hey, your friend's leaving with I. Come back here. I, I can help him. I can help him. Please, come back. Sit down. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a good also gambler. Right? Now, I, I know there's really nobody to blame for this but myself. Well, I don't know, maybe the Buffalo Bills, the Boston Red Sox, or Mr. T, or, or the Jets. Wait a minute, Mr. T, are you telling me that you bet on the fight in Rocky Three and that you bet against Rocky? Hindsight is 2020, my friend. The point is, I, I'm in trouble. Deep trouble, which could be good for Mr. McKenna's father. You see, there is a way I can get his name bumped to the top of the list, and he can get his heart. How? If you pay me $50,000. Did you say $50,000? No. I whispered $50,000, and I need it in two weeks. Look, this is awful, but <laughs> I've given these bookies practically everything I have. Any bleeding? Only when I sit down. Ouch. Dr. Farthing, what happened to your arm? Well, I'm not sure. It's either from sleeping on it the wrong way or from bookmakers throwing me out of a speeding car. Did you get the 50 grand? Not yet. Hey, if we get you some of the money in two weeks, could we pay you the rest later in installments? No, no. Well, there are nine days left. Might I suggest kidnapping the child of a celebrity? No, all of his blood levels are good. Should cut down on the finger foods. Hey, Doc, what happened to your foot? What I don't understand is, when you owe a bookie a lot of money, and he, say, blows off one of your toes, you still owe him the money. Doesn't seem fair to me. Especially when he's gonna kill me in four days anyway. Well, look, Mitch says we'll have the money for you. <gasps> oh, thank God. I mean, that's good news, Sam. Farthing. Mitch. Here's the check for 50000 Oh, that's great, Mitch. Say, what do you want to bet I don't go to my bookie? No, you're going straight to your bookie to pay him off so that you can live to perform Pop's heart transplant. Oh, and Dr. Farthing? Well, he got over his gambling problem, but the bookies beat him to death anyway. So he's dead. That's it. Bye. Sorry. First, you want to record vital signs? <laughs>